Hey, I'm Donald Bell, and this is the Tap Sensor Board from Boldport. Now, it may not look like much, but if you come in close, I'll show you what's cool about this board. This is actually a lovingly recreated version of a circuit from a 1974 issue of Elector Magazine. The Boldport version, this version here, uses the same components and circuit design as the original, but freaks it out with these insane freeform circuit traces. Aside from looking cool, this board lets you switch 5 volts between 3 different outputs by touching directly on these spots on the board. For practicality, you could use it easily as an insane alien interface for triggering events on an Arduino project or a bank of relays. The 5 volt output makes it perfect for that. Now, the board comes as a kit that you'll have to assemble yourself, but it's a quick build that you can do in under an hour. All you need is a soldering iron, uh, some solder, and some clippers to trim off the extra bits. Now, I wouldn't call it a beginner project, since Boldport assumes that you'll know how to ID your component values and read a schematic in order to place everything where it needs to go. They do print the component outlines on the back, though, which comes in real handy when you're trying to figure out whether your transistor is face up or down. Another thing you should know about this kit is that there's no obvious payoff moment when you're done. There's no blinking lights or beeps of glory. The payoff comes when you put it to use. The easiest way to do that is to breadboard a simple circuit with three LEDs. Here's the breadboard layout of what I did. Current limiting resistors on each LED are a good idea, but I whipped this up pretty quickly and it seemed to work fine without them. Now, there are obviously simpler, more modern, and more affordable ways to switch around five volts. If you're gonna go to the trouble of making this thing, you've also gotta be able to appreciate it as a little nerdy historical artifact. Think about how futuristic this concept seemed in 1974. In the time before touchscreens, interfaces like this were the stuff of science fiction. It's a neat precursor to all the touch interfaces we take for granted today. It's also a nice reminder that makers always get to play with the cool stuff first, even in 1974. So, that's the Boldport Tap Sensor. It's the fifth project available from the Boldport Club, which I recommend joining if you like putting together little circuits like this that look impressive on your shelf, whether you use them or not. You can learn more at boldport.club. And that's an unsolicited plug. I just like them. I think more people should know about their stuff. If you like this video, I'd like to make more of them, but I want to make sure I'm not wasting my time and yours. So give me a thumbs up or an encouraging comment if this is something you'd like to see more of. Again, I'm Donald Bell. Thanks for watching.